Wait, did that really just happen? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst TV plot twists. You're Cindy's ex-roommate, right? Yeah, and you are the professor. I took one of your classes. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're choosing revelations in TV shows that didn't make any sense, ruined a good series, or were hugely disappointing to fans. Or in some cases, all three. It goes without saying that a big old spoiler warning is in effect from this point onwards. Time for our weekly silhouette. No! Cutting out your ugly nose gives me a hand cramp! Number 10. Suddenly time travel? Felicity. Felicity Elizabeth Porter graduates with honors. Considering this college drama series was masterminded by J.J. Abrams and his Cloverfield co-creator Matt Reeves, it's a little more understandable in retrospect that a what-if element was woven into the show. However, viewers at the time were caught off guard when a straightforward series about the highs and lows of the college experience going into the new millennium suddenly jumped genre, traveling back in time to explore what could have happened if Felicity had picked Noel instead of Ben. This isn't what I was wearing. Okay, look, you just you need to relax, that's all. No, I need to get out of here. I mean, what if someone finds us? What if Zoe finds us? Previously, hints of magic were sown by Felicity's Wiccan roommate, but nothing prepared fans for a full-on Back to the Future 2 twist. First of all, everything was perfectly fine. I mean, you know, on paper. Number 9. The Father Isn't Dead. Revenge. But that was a promise I couldn't keep. If there's one thing that makes loyal viewers' blood boil, it's a series going back on its initial premise. That's exactly what Revenge did. The show was centered around Emily Thorne, who returns to her childhood Hamptons home after years of absence, secretly seeking vengeance on a neighboring family for betraying her deceased father. His only option was to forgive. I have others. After three seasons of building up our investment in Emily's motivation, the show then revealed that rumors of her father's death had been greatly exaggerated. What's the only thing more annoying than a series negating its own premise? A miraculous resurrection. Revenge only lasted for one more season before being canceled. It's not him. Just take your time. Number 8. Buffy has a secret sister. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. Let's hear the story that Spike is telling my little sister. Right. Yeah. Buffy's one of the most beloved shows of all time, but even Joss Whedon can push fans too far. Viewers were more than a little confused when season 5 began with an unexplained addition to the Summers household, a younger sister for Buffy. Mom! The confusion deepened when every character acted as though Dawn had always been there. After nearly a whole season of frustratingly few answers, she was revealed to be the key to hell, with memories of her artificially implanted so as to not arouse suspicion. Dawn's split fan opinion, and the strange nature of her introduction was arguably not worth the payoff. No, Donnie, I have to. No! Number 7. Peter Petrelli has amnesia. Heroes. Before I make it. Oh. After a strong first season, Heroes began to weaken. This series tracked an international cast of diverse characters with similarly diverse powers. One of the central figures from season one was Peter Petrelli, who was convinced that he had untapped, super-powered potential. As Peter got closer and closer to confirming his suspicions, even jumping off a roof to see if he could fly, we got more and more invested in the story arc. That's why it was so infuriating when the second episode of season two revealed that Peter had amnesia taking his journey of self-discovery back to square one. Who are you? What's your name? I don't know. Number six, the flash sideways payoff, Lost. <coughs> Relax. Relax, breathe. With its labyrinthine storytelling, many consider Lost to be a game changer in TV history. Another creation of J.J. Abrams, the series began with a plane crash on a mysterious island. The survivors then spent the next six seasons trying and usually failing to unravel its secrets, while plagued by weird smoke monsters, creepy co-inhabitants, and ghosts from their pasts, or futures, 
From the start, many suspected the island was an afterlife, but the ever-complicating plot lines promised something more interesting. Of course, there was some truth to the fan speculation, as the two-part finale confirmed the Flash Sideways timeline represented a form of afterlife where the characters meet up after they die. Looks like Desmond was right all along. I see you in another life, brother! Number 5. Principal Skinner isn't the real Seymour Skinner. The Simpsons. I have never been happier or prouder to be Seymour Skinner. You're not Seymour Skinner. For a while, The Simpsons did no wrong, but during season 9, fans felt a drop in quality, which arguably began with The Principal and The Popper. In the episode, Principal Skinner is unmasked as an imposter when the real Seymour Skinner shows up in Springfield. My real name is Armin Tamzarian. <gasps> <laughs> In the end, the town decides they'd rather keep the fake Skinner. This neat reset is a typical sitcom cheat, and this character detail is hardly referenced again. Hardcore fans refer to this as the show's jumping the shark moment, and creator Matt Groening seems to agree, having dismissed it as one of his quote, least favorite episodes. I guess you're right, Principal Tamzarian. I'll just be moving along, Lisa. Number four, the show is Roseanne's story. Roseanne. Roseanne! <laughs> Roseanne, where are you? Back when it first debuted, this sitcom about an ordinary family going through ordinary family problems struck a chord with a huge audience thanks to its authenticity. However, for the show's final original season, fans were asked to suspend their disbelief when the Connor family won the lottery, dramatically changing their lives forever. Yeah, but you know what? If this ticket was worth only, say, 10 million, I'd love it just as much. But wait, then came another shocking twist. It never happened. Instead, it was all Roseanne's memoirs, and she admitted to fabricating some pretty big parts of it. The finale ends with her reflecting on what could have been. Oh, and the worst part? That whole storyline was discarded for the 2018 Roseanne reboot, but the less said about that, the better. I think I'll be a lot better now that this book is done. Number three, Dan was the Gossip Girl all along. Gossip Girl. Wait, Gossip Girl is real? You get out on your own the hook here was that the narrator, a New York blogger spreading dirt about the city's socialites, was a mystery. The final episode at last gave fans the answer. The Gossip Girl was actually a Gossip Boy. None other than Serena's beau, Dan Humphrey. Teenagers acting like adults. Adults acting like teenagers, guarding secrets, spreading gossip, all with the trappings of truly opulent wealth. Viewers were enraged by this, because it just didn't make any sense. From his overly realistic reactions to his own secret splurging, to the pain he put Serena and his sister through, to times when it was physically impossible for him to post anything. Or how about when he blackmailed himself via text? Sorry, Dan, we're just not buying it. Um, you know what, on second thought, I think I will come tonight. I mean, who doesn't like school? Bro? Number two, the mother is dead and Ted ends up with Robin. How I Met Your Mother. Are we being punished for something? <laughs> no. Yeah, is this gonna take a while? Yes. How I Met Your Mother was another long-running TV show with another long-running hook. Each episode was framed by protagonist Ted regaling his kids with a story from his past, which would eventually lead up to him explaining how he met their mother. Unless... Do you want to walk around some more? It's still early. Given Ted's exceptional memory, this process took nine full seasons. After establishing that Robin was better off with Barney than Ted, who was better off with the mother, the show did a controversial 180 in its finale, killing off the mother and pushing Ted and Robin back together after all. Number one, it was all a dream, Dallas. Even if you've never seen Dallas, you probably know about this infamously unpopular twist. At the end of season 9, Pamela Ewing was woken up by the sound of the shower running. Surprised, she went to see who was in it and got the shock of her life. It was her ex-husband Bobby. So why was this shocking? Well, Bobby was supposed to be dead, as millions of viewers well knew. Safe to say the outrage that this major event had never really happened was felt on a nationwide level. You look like you just saw a ghost. 
a minute, I thought I did. Well, at least it wasn't as bad as the ending of 80s sitcom Newhart, which revealed that the entire show was a dream. You won't believe the dream I just had. Mm. <laughs> but don't you want to hear about it? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.